Hello you guys, so today I'm going to do just a quick video of my diaper bag for my newborn, what I packed in my diaper bag to prepare me for the hospital, and also most of these things will stay in the diaper bag of course because the baby will need the diaper bag as you travel back and forth. So let's just dive right into the video. So the diaper bag that I chose is this black and green design here. If you have seen my car seat and stroller video, then you know that this diaper bag matches my car seat and stroller perfectly. Um, this is made by Baby, I don't wanna give you the wrong name. This is made by Baby Boom. And I purchased this diaper bag here from Walmart for $29.99. It has a wipes case on the outside, the BB gear logo side pocket and also a back pocket and a strap and carrying handles it also had the loops on the straps here where you could connect keys or anything of your preference and a pocket here for cooling and of course the inside so let's just dive right on to what I have on the outside here I have wipes this came with the the diaper bag itself is for easy convenience. All you have to do is pop it here, keeps your wipes moist. And you, that way you don't have to dig through a bag when you need a wipe. On my side pockets, I put a thing of Kleenex and Baby Gannix hand sanitizer. This will definitely come in handy inside of the hospital when people are coming to visit, anytime that you are out at the stores or, you know, Anytime that you just really need hand sanitizer, I decided to get this bottle to keep in here. Of course, it's green. Green is not my favorite color. I just figured it was very gender neutral, just in case, you know, as my baby gets older, if there's anything that he outgrows, I can donate it to somebody else and not have to worry about, you know, they're having a boy or girl. In this side pocket, I haven't put anything. It's just empty. In the back pocket is the changing pad that came with the diaper bag. It just folds out like this and in this front insulated pocket there's nothing just because I don't have anything hot or cold but this is like if you have your bottles or water that you need to keep heated or anything that you need to keep cool like teething rings you can put in here um, on the outside I snapped on another hand sanitizer this was just in case I'm very I'm a little OCD I'm gonna say um, so I just like to, you know, be ready in case something happens to this one. It runs out. This one is quicker to get to. And also the pacifier case. The pacifiers are not in here right now. I'm going to sterilize them, but I am going to show you which ones I picked. Um, and the pacifier will go in there. So inside the diaper bag, what I have... The diaper bag is very roomy. See, it opens up just like this. The pampers are falling over because the clothes and stuff are not in there right now. But basically, there's a lot of pampers in there right now. But it is very roomy. It has two straps on the inside that you can put. I have the postcard here. Let me see if you guys can see it. This is what the inside looks like in this picture. That's how strap. That's how uh, spacious it is. It has two straps right there that you can hook bottles so that they don't go anywhere. Um, and inside of my, in the inside of course there is newborn diapers. The kind that I have in here is the Pampers Sensitive. I decided to go with these just because they are the best for the baby's bottoms in case you're worried about whether or not your baby will react um, a certain type of way to Pampers. When I had my daughter, I did find that these work the best as far as controlling leakage. And also, I like the simple fact that they have this indicator on the front which this is the yellow indicator. It turns green to let you know that the diaper is soiled so you don't really have to just be guessing. Um, also inside of there, I have this. I guess you call it the little first aid utility, whatever kind of kit you wanna call it. it. Has a spoon for medicine, a thermometer, nail clipper, nasal aspirator, and this is the oral dispenser for medicine. And you can fill out the emergency card in there. Then I also have this pouch that came with one of the registries that I got. It's just a Pampers pouch that I'm using to keep 
just small things in that I know that I will need at the hospital or just out and traveling. So inside of here, I have an Aveeno Baby Lotion, the baby's hairbrush, a Baby Dove sample body wash, and I have two packs of diaper rash cream, one Aquaphor, one Bordeaux's butt paste, maximum strength. And this was a sample pack that was given to me in one of the registries. I just decided to just go ahead and put it in here so I can just eventually use it. It's just for the boogie wipes and the seventh generation lotion. I'm pretty sure I'll use this at some point because it's, it's organic. So I'll use that at some point in time for the baby. Um, the bottles right now that are going inside of the diaper bag, they actually came also from registries. It is the Avent Phillips four ounce bottles. I am breastfeeding, but I am going to sterilize these just in case the baby does not latch on. Um, anything can happen. They always tell you to just be prepared. You never know. So I'm gonna put these inside of the diaper bag and keep those with me at all times. Um, next, as far as clothing items for the baby, I have two onesies. This one says future Mr. Right in a size newborn. This one says the world is yours in a size newborn. And then I have two full outfits that one of course would be his going home outfit. One would be the hospital picture outfit. So the first one is just these little cute blue jogger pants and this little sluggers onesie and the matching hat. And the second one, of course, some more joggers to go with it. This onesie. And the matching hat for this one. I think this is going to be his going home outfit or the hospital outfit because it's the cutest with the bear. And the baseball one to be his going home outfit. Um, this burp cloth. I don't like bibs. I just don't like anything that has to stay around the baby's neck. I'm a fan of burp claws. Um, even the disposable burp claws, I like those. I just don't want to have to hook and unhook anything around the baby's neck. Because the baby is being born in June and it is hot, um, I do have two more blankets. One that is the big fur blanket, um, the soft fleece kind of blanket, and then another one that's basically kind of the same, just a little thinner. And I also picked up just these basic receiving blankets. This is the blanket that I'm taking to the hospital just because it is thin and lightweight and it'd be perfect riding in the car home. It won't be nothing that'll draw too much heat to the baby. It'll just be thin and perfect. I also am bringing along two pair of mittens And I have three pair of socks. And last but not least, oh, I have wipes, of course. I think I showed you on the outside. I just wanted to make sure because sometimes I forget. Um, last but not least, to go inside of the pacifier container, I have to sterilize these two. These are actually the Philip Avance pacifiers. You get a clear one and a blue one. They look just like this, come in the carrying case. That'll be his pacifiers. And I bought him two pacifier clips. One's clear, the other one is blue. It says, I love mommy. And I also bought this. This is actually gonna go on my stroller. I just forgot to hook it on when I did my stroller video. But I thought that this was really cute. This is just a little clip on with disposable trash bags, the Arm & Hammer, they smell like lavender this is so, so when you're out and the baby you know does a stool job and you're trying to disguise the scent this will work very very good um if you're out walking in the park the zoo the store the mall even inside of the car if you have to pull over and change the baby this will keep the scent locked in and you can just dispose of it easily and they sell the refillable bags i got this from target i think for $3.99 so you can clip this either onto your diaper bag or the stroller as i'm going to do so basically that's it. I'm not taking a lot from my baby um, to the hospital because they give you basically everything that you need there. I have the majority necessities that will always be needed for the baby inside of the diaper bag as you're out, excuse me, riding. Um, it's not really much that you're gonna need. 
need other than the things that I have here. If you feel like I left something out or if you included something or if you didn't include something that I have, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know, um, you guys, when you plan on packing your diaper bag. I still have four weeks left. Um, I'm just packing early and putting everything in the car because, like I said, um, my daughter, in the, the previous video I told you guys, my daughter, she was born by a C-section, but she was two and a half weeks early. So I don't know if anything can happen with this. You never know what can happen. Even if you're having a C-section and you know that that's the birth option that you're choosing, anything can happen. Your blood pressure can go up and you end up going into the hospital earlier than they planned. So just always go ahead and get yourself prepared. When you have that inkling feeling, there is a reason that we have that feeling. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.